Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! Where we have today a nice TVP on Frozen Temple. Oh yeah! So here we have it spawning in the bottom right position as the Red Terran playing for Team Pro Kings. It is me, Alex Sasher. And his opponent, spawning in the left top position, already scouting with a probe, playing for himself as the blue pro does it as Pain Gamer. And there we have a probe already on the way. And for me the barracks and possibly the refinery as well. But maybe not, maybe not. So, ooh, going for a proxy. Okay, that's nice. And a gasless build for me. Already a very wild game. And I have to say, um, I do like, I really do like the new Legacy of the Void 12 worker start. It's not really new. I mean, the game is all, almost one year old now. But I like it. I do like it. Um, if I now go into Wings of Liberty and play with 6 worker, it takes so long, which is not bad per se, but I am now playing Legacy of the Void already annoyed by, by playing my opening. I mean the first five minutes in TVC for example are always the same, which is not what I like and in TVP it feels the same quite as well. So we do have a proxy gateway and cybernetic score here, so he will pressure hard, possibly. And that can be very, very big. So I will scout here. See, no base. Uh-oh. Okay, let's block with the eBay. Which is annoying, which is good. Chrono boost on the adapt. No sell it. So double adapt. There is a probe moving down. Planting a pylon. Doesn't want to expand right now. He's fine. Staying on one base. Will be annoying on my SCV. Tickling it away. Um, where is this adapt? There's his first attack, there's the second one, and the Mothership Core. So he's moving across the map now. Sees the command center, will scout up and go for the pile and cheese. Oh yeah, super annoying, but there's an eBay block. So he will be forced to stay on one base for quite some time. At least he can't expand here. If he wants to expand, he would to need to grab that one or that one. Uh, but the pylons are really annoying, and the Mothership Core halfway through on the map. Good cancel here on the pylon. <laughs> Good cancel, so much skill. And I'm pulling all the SCVs and I don't think that's a smart move because I will just lose mining time and the pylon overcharge will start soon. Pylon madness will shoot on the orbital command. Should maybe focus the supply depot first. There you go. Panic bunker on the way, but you need it. You don't know if he's going full in A here or not. Uh, the mothership call can overcharge again soon. And I need to, that's nice, get the supply depots immediately. We make them, don't get supply cap. And Protoss going for a Stargate behind that, so that's that's annoying. I'm trying to get the Mothership Core, but so far I just took damage. Five SCVs and two Marines, and I'm behind in Worker. But I, I do have double orbital and mule production, so I should be fine. He won't be able to break the double bunker, and with only two gateways... I don't see him winning this. So now he's working on the eBay that will take quite some time. Uh, there's the mule coming down and in the income I'm ahead. In the minerals. I didn't take any gases yet, I will change that now. And I will try to deal some damage, break out of the contain. I uh, need to be careful with the eBay. Halfway destroyed already. Uh, probe is helping out a little bit as well. Just one gas so far. I definitely should take the second one because I need them. Combat shields, concussive shells and medivacs. And you need basically three gas. One gas is not enough. A two gas is mm, difficult. I think I did get the cancel. Uh, forcing an overcharge. There's the stupid sentry. Will force feed the ramp. But I feel like he will need to abandon this position very soon. He should probably send back this probe to mine at one of at his from at one of his bases. Didn't get the sentry but forces another overcharge, so that's fine. 
There's an oracle now. Can deal a lot of damage, but I do have enough marines. So I should be fine. He could swing into the uh, mineral line, try to deal some damage. Turret is on the way. I did try to get the... Yeah, the, and now he goes back. He knows he can't do it. Can't hold it. There's the oracle. Don't lose it, so Don't lose it. We do have a lot of marines. So the army supply, 22 marines. And that could be enough to just straight kill Protoss. Here it comes, but there's a turret already done. A pylon here. I'm landing the base. And the Oracle finds one SCV. But and a second one. And gets the revelation, which is so annoying. So that's good for him. That's really good. So he knows now where my and you see, he sees the army. That's so annoying. It really is. So he's probing up, getting the tech, Twilight Council, and he got the Dark Templar Shrine in the meantime. And he's warping on DTs. He's getting another gateway, and I just throw down a mule. But there is a turret in the production. Will get finished, but immediately killed. And now I need to go back. Oh, that's really good for Pain Gamer here. He's finding some solid damage. And that's what he needs to do to get ahead in this game. So now I don't have any detection, I can't just rely on my turrets. He's killing a tech lab, which is annoying. It's not producing anything or researching anything rather, so that's okay. The factory, very late. Mm, nice kill on that DT, but there's one left. And. Pain Gamer, smart as he is, going for a third Nexus. So that's really, really good. He's also moving out on the map. I don't know about that. Oh, the Oracle, don't lose it! Ah, oh, so close. Yeah, the turret deals 12 damage with two attacks. So there's the scan. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. That's so annoying. And on hold position. Well done, very well done. So DTs don't even need blink yet, even though they will get it uh, most likely in the big balance patch, which will happen uh, after BlizzCon, I think. But yeah, DTs, at least for now it's planned that they can blink. I don't like that Artosis pylon at all. I would love to see Pain Gamer go for a Splash. Because I have only Marines, no Medivac so far, uh, they are very vulnerable, and that can be so devastating. Storms, Colossus, Disrupt the Balls, they are so good. And uh, Burka wise, I'm not really doing well here, so Pain Gamer now with the Triple Probe production. And I like what he did here with the probes 10 on 10, 16 on 16. He's doing really good. So there's the switching. The 8 minute 30 medivac timing. Uh, yeah, there was a scan. There was possibly a Dark Templar. One DT is moving in. Will get killed. That's a shame. Gets one swipe on the CC and that's it. The Marine will scout the Nexus. And here's the big attack. Stimulus ready combat shields plus one. He's not shading in. He could have taken the find and possibly won, but he's taking it slowly and safe. And he has a good reason to do so. He doesn't need to risk it and losing anything. So he's fine. He's totally fine for now. His pro production is lo uh, looking solid. He's getting a robotics bay. I am moving out. And Pain Gamer is not seeing it. He doesn't have an observer right here, possibly because of the turrets. And he lost the Oracle as well, so there's his Observer, for now. Uh, but doesn't see the move out, and that's a huge Bioforce. Army supply-wise, we are even. It's 0-1 against 0-0. Zero, zero. I will hit, not before his plus one, so upgrade-wise, we are even. And there we go, big them in! Good Force Shields, good Guardian Shield as well. And that's a very close fight. Those marines not really shooting the army. The probes are coming off the line. So he's taking some losses. Ah, oh, pylon overcharge. That's, that's helping out. So he holds. 
without losing too much. Uh, oh no, don't lose the observer! Hmm, that's sad. But, yeah, well, gas-wise, he didn't do too well. But an army, army supply is even my third base. Oh, look at that. I don't have money for a third base, so I, I need to lift my main down there. And there are so much gas left in those refineries. The observer will spot that I will land one orbital command. He doesn't know that it's my main base orbital command. So he could assume it, but he doesn't know. He's parking it right on top of my army. That's smart, I think. At least as long as I don't scan. And he sees the move out, he sees it. And the first Colossus is ready, the second one on the way, Termalance as well. So the Colossus will have range 9, which is a lot. It's, I guess it's the same range than Lurkers have. And I can't move up that ramp, no chance. Against Force Fields, Adapt and all those Colossus, no chance. So I'm boosting in here, uh, going away. And turning back, bad rally point. Uh, a bit oversaturated on that base. But it's okay, so there are two medivacs here. He's getting plus two, he's not grabbing his fourth base quite yet. Instead he's planting down more gateways, which is good, I think. Uh, he doesn't see those two medivacs. Uh, one one should be finished for me, there are two more medivacs on the way. Yeah, one one is ready against zero two. Uh, he doesn't see it at all. His army heavily out of position, where's the mothership core? It's right here, it might get sniped, will he react in time? One overcharge gets up, but that's the Artosis pylon, and plus two! Oh no, plus two might get cancelled here. No, it gets through because of that pylon, that was a very, very close one. Another double medivac drop heading towards the natural base, and his army is heavily out of position. He can't keep up with the multitasking, he's losing some probes, big stim on that unit. Uh, that force, and I'm targeting down both Nexi. Good Vitamine shot. Will I get the Nexi? It's so close. And I get both of them boosting out of here. Vitamine gets a nice shot on the Colossus, erasing the shields, but that was massive damage taken. Killed the Dark Templar Shrine as well. The Forge to Nexi. That's big. Needs another pylon here. That's really big. Army supply? It's looking good. He could move across the map and deal massive damage. And I know it. Planting down two bunker. That's good. Uh, that goes in scouts. The second starport and the addition of the barracks. Still on two bases, but the damage has been done. And there's still this widow mine. I killed quite some probes in this game. And now we are even on Worker and he's not mining at all. Look at his mining, it's so bad. I mean mine is not really good, but he has half the income I have currently. And this will stay for like, yeah, what in total? Like 70 seconds? A bit longer maybe? That's a lot, oh! He killed a marine and I scanned, see his army. And I'm prepared, I have the Vikings. I have the Bioforce, I have lots of Marauder, good upgrades, 1-1 one, one is not too bad, but he has a lot of units, he's basically all in. He is basically all in, I don't know why he's not morph, uh, warping him here, going for some Adept Terrors, that would have been a very smart choice. And I am currently clearing those rocks, which is important, uh, because you don't want to funnel through a uh, bottleneck against Colossus and Splash with your Bioforce. So killing those rocks is very important, but here comes the big attack! Big stim, the Vikings not shooting at the Colossus so far, that's not a good engagement for me currently. The blink is okay, but he's not focus firing the the Vikings with his stalker. Oh, one Colossus was killed already, it's so close. And he retreats back, he did kill all the Vikings in the air, but I get the kill on the second Colossus, so there's just one left, lots of medivacs with heal, and this Archon is low on shields as well, I could snipe it. Now his mining is back on track, but I am expanding, I'm growing my third base now. Uh, good blink, 
But I'm not sure if you should focus fire the the Marauder. Maybe going for the Medivacs would have been smarter. I don't know. He loses the Colossus. And with that, the game. GG. After a tough start, I managed to win. Oh, that widow mine. <laughs> Could have gotten so many kills. Didn't happen this game, but that was... That was quite something. Look at that widow mine. Look at it. Oh, wow. Not the biggest hit, but it's okay. So, yeah, the double nexus snipe. That, that killed him, basically. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I wish you a very nice day and 